for a guy that's hard to please, that one's even hard to criticize. Man, we came out with great energy. Uh, we were defending. We were moving the ball. First half, we had 14 assists off 20 made field goals. We had m multiple guys step up and make plays. There were very few things that, that we did poorly in that first half. And then the second half, you know, I told him, I said, you know, I'm, I'm going to let you play as long as you play right. And you know what? I, 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 I wanted them all to leave on a good note. We tried Trey as much as we could down the stretch, but we couldn't get it to go. But I'm uh, really pleased with the effort. That, that uh, win tonight guarantees that we get a bye. Uh, it actually guarantees that we'll either finish third or fourth. Uh, we can't slip further than that just based on the records of those behind us. So uh, important win for us moving forward gives us momentum. Now we've got to finish this thing right on the road. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. I mean, we were obviously going to them early, and they were delivering. I look at KG; he had 14 on six for 11, made two threes. Ty, we went to him early, and you know he's three for five. Trey, three for seven. Tave got involved. You know, I thought he he gave us good energy, and then obviously Jelly got cooking. Uh, first half, second half, it was a little harder to get going, but I, I wanted him to to finish on a high note, and, and he usually does so. It's all tied there in the second. You know what, Ty's been a guy, the man, he's really come on for us. Um, I think I read somewhere he's averaging like 14 points per game over our last four or five. He's really given us some pop off our bench, or excuse me, uh, at that three spot, uh, at that really rebounding the ball, making defensive play. I think he's got a lot better defensively because he's never been used to guarding guys on the perimeter. He's making adjustments there. And he's another shot maker for us. You know, we, the, the numbers get skewed a little bit because we shot it so poorly in the second half. But first half, man, we shot that thing at 54%. We were dominant off the glass. We didn't turn it over much to the bitter end. So again, um, anytime you can beat a conference opponent by, by close to 30 points, a team that, that I've got a lot of respect for, I think Rice is a good basketball team. And they were coming off a big win in their last outing against Western, who we faced on Saturday. So we've just got to keep getting better. With these guys, with Rice, and Sometimes, and it's a rhythm thing. And if you understand, you know that they're they're probably I don't want to say they're most important player. I think Quincy Oliver will be a first team All League guy, and I think Travis Evie and Max Felder uh, uh, could both be All League guys. I really do. Uh, and and Fiedler turned his ankle against UTSA. How do I know that? Because it was the game before we played UTSA, and I saw him. And he came back in the game. And then he was not 100% against Western, but he played. And I think tonight, because of the way that we got out on him, I saw Scott speaking to him right at the, the beginning of the second half. And if you notice, he didn't play. So they're a completely different team when he's not on the floor. I think they're, they're trying to rest him to, to finish strong. A lot of respect for, for the, the job that they've done there. And again, it's one of those nights we made shots, we guarded, we were really good. I was trying hard to get him that double double. You know, we went to him about three straight times down the stretch because I wanted him to get to the double double. He wanted to get to it. 13 big rebounds. He's a tremendous defensive rebounder. And as you said, he really anchors us defensively. Obviously, with assists, when you're making baskets, you, you get more assists. But was this one of your very nights just sharing the ball to, to him? Yeah, especially early. I thought we were making all the right reads. I'll go back and watch the tape and, and be able to quantify that. But I, I thought we were sharing the ball. Thought our actions were, were crisp, our execution, our attention to detail, all the things that we've been harping on since Jelly's been back. Uh, now for uh, I guess seven games, I think we're six and one since he's been back. And tonight we go for 85, and we came in averaging over 83 a night and shooting it in the high 40s. So we're starting to find our offensive rhythm again. And defensively, I think we're continuing to make improvements. Jelly had his uh, best game since uh, the first UTSA game. Uh, I think this is five in a row over 20. Uh, he breaks uh, one of your records. Uh, yep. Those 30 No, and I, you know, and I was purposeful. If he would have missed the shot, I don't know if I would have given him two or three more. But we tried to run something for him because I think he deserves it. You know, he's a dynamic playmaker. Um, you know, those records don't do me any good, uh, but his confidence does. Thank you. Um, it, it feels amazing. I mean, it's still a little surreal. I think I'm gonna probably like come to grasp with it probably uh, a couple days later. You know, what I'm saying, knowing that we're never gonna. Playing Barto again, but um, I mean it's it's been a, it's been a hell of a ride, and, and I appreciate everybody who's been a part of it. What was it like for you this morning before the game? You know that type of stuff, knowing 
family. Yeah. Kind of what was what was emotion like? Uh, you know? Um. Well, my emotion was like any other game. Uh. You know what I'm saying? Just try to be locked in as much as I can. Do my same routine that I always do before games. But uh, it was it was a little harder because my family kept calling me. You know, so that was a little harder, and I had to make sure they were okay, make sure they came to the game. But seeing my mom in the stands, uh, that definitely put a little boost to me because she doesn't come to a lot of my games. You know, so. Uh, like seeing her in the stands, and she's on dialysis right now, so it's hard for her to travel and stuff like that. So her coming to my game, uh, it meant the world to me. And seeing her in the stands and being able to be with me today, uh, uh, it, it meant the world to me. So that I'll get, probably say my mom gave me a little extra boost. How many games has she been to this year? Um, the first game and the last game. That's it. She's only been yeah, she's only been to two games. And then last year she came to only three games. The first game, the South Carolina game, because that's where uh, they stay in. Uh, the last game, yeah. So. Her coming to this game, it meant the world to me. It seems like, you know, you missed your first first few. Yeah, 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 yeah. It seemed like there was a little frustration there. Yeah. Uh, you know, early. I mean, yeah, because, I mean, I, I know what shots I make. I mean, you guys know the type of shots I make, you know. And it, and I don't think they were, like, really difficult shots. I've shot difficult shots before, but those ones didn't really feel that difficult to me. It was just kept rimming out, you know what I'm saying, or back rim. But uh, that's what more was frustrating. It wasn't like it was going left or right because when you're – a shooter and the ball's going left to right, you're doing something drastically wrong. But if it's hitting back rim or front rim, usually you probably just need to shoot higher or, or get a little more rotation on the ball. So um, I, I found out, I figured it, uh, what I was doing wrong and definitely fixed it. Uh, you know, besides 32 points, I think more impressively was that you got eight assists on the back. And uh, I mean, you were just feeding your fellow seniors. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, have you ever been a part of kind of a, I mean, maybe in high school where, you know, your senior class just dominates this much. Yeah, yeah. I mean, literally in literally in my high school, that's what happened. But um, definitely I was trying to find them guys for sure because I knew it was their last time too. I know that I could score the ball, and I know that's that, – like I say, that's, that's probably one of my best attributes. Uh, but um, getting them the ball and making sure they have a successful senior night, that, that was pretty much my goal as well too because I was the point guard today. You know what I'm saying? Even though I'm the point guard regardless because me and EG are both point guards. It's not like I'm a shooting guard. But sometimes I'm more of a combo guard when I'm playing off the ball to be more aggressive to score. But I knew that me having the ball in my hands as much as I did today, I got to facilitate as well. Um, but, um, uh, yeah, I, I definitely wanted my senior class to go out and, and play well. And I think uh, we, we definitely did. I know you're always striving to be better. But that first half today, uh, was that as, as well as you guys have played, you think? Uh, I think it's one of our best first halves for sure. I think so for sure, uh, but mo mostly defensively. I think we we locked in defensively, and, and that's that that's that's what's always been AK's teams. You know, offensively he he lets play his players play and 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 play to their strengths, but defensively we're supposed to get after you, and and, and that and that's what our identity's supposed to be. You know, so uh, us being able to do that and and, and then. It, it gives us energy on the offensive end, too, because we get breakaway uh, uh, layups, you know what I'm saying? We get easy jump shots. So I think our defense is, is, is what uh, I was most impressed about in the first half. With, um, you know, you have points and all that stuff, but to end, the, to end your Bartow career um, with a fun night like that. Yeah. I mean, everybody's yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. You know, and, and, and playing as well as other. How much fun was, was tonight just in general? I mean, it was, it was extremely fun. And not only for me, but it, it, it was fun because I feel like everyone played, played, played the way they were supposed to play. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, you missed a couple bunny baskets, a couple layups and stuff, a couple open jump shots, but it happens. But I think for the most part, I think we all were really happy with the performance and we all were really happy with uh, ha ha how we played and how we played as a team, you know, and uh, how we all played our roles and we played it to a T. So I, I think – um, it, it was definitely good, and it's definitely fun, especially your last game of the season, to end in a blowout win. To uh, uh, I think that's definitely fun. And, and to, to the streak you guys are on now, you know, yeah. playing so well, they're not always pretty or different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The game's different. Yeah. But to win, especially with what y'all went through when you were hurt, mm -hmm. losing games, and you know, really, it looked like the season was getting away. Yeah. And all of a sudden, you won whatever it is. Nine I think I think it's eight out of the last nine. Yeah. Okay, eight out of the last nine. Kind of how confident. Is this team right now, and how, how good are you guys playing? Win it, how, you know. Again, it's not always pretty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, but but that's great basketball teams. Like AK says, you, you you can't control whether you make every shot. You know what I'm saying? You can't control that you're gonna play a perfect game. But as long as you end up getting that win and you do all the little things it takes for us to win, you know what I'm saying? Uh, that's the most important part. And I feel like those are the things we are focusing on. 
even more now, which is why we're coming up with these wins, even in close games. You know what I'm saying now? I mean, obviously we haven't had a really close game in a while, but even the UTEP game or the UTSA game, we were down a little bit. Like that's a little bit of a close game, but I think we're doing the little things and those are the most important things. A lot of people focus on making shots or missing shots or getting this block, you know what I'm saying? But it's about the little things, about the rebound, the block out, you know what I'm saying? The help and the helper type stuff. And I feel like uh, we're, we're, we're peaking at the right time. And we just won eight of the last nine. I would say everyone on our team is, is extremely confident, but at the same time, we're staying humble because you can't ever get too ahead of yourself. You know what I'm saying? We, we still have the conference tournament to go in, and, and we still have two games left, and we're treating it as, 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 as though these games matter as well. So, um, but I, I mean, I think we're definitely peaking at the right time, and I feel like we're definitely meshing at the right time. I think I think those are those are crucial. I think that was the first time we won back to back road games. I don't know if I'm wrong. I, I think it might have been because we lost to North Texas on the other road game, and then Middle Tennessee we lost. But then because I think they beat Rice, but I think something like that. I don't know. But we definitely uh, being able to do that, uh, go on a, a two game road sweep, especially that far where we were having having to go that far. You know what I'm saying, and, and having to lock in and having to play two 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 tough teams, you know. Um, but I, I think it's it's we're just getting more confident in ourselves and in our abilities, and I'm and I mean everyone individually. I think everyone is understanding their role and understanding like what their niche is, and I think everyone is playing that role and that niche to the best of their ability. And I think um, going into conference play, that's what you need. That's what you need in order to win. Appreciate you guys.